What's up guys? How you feeling? It's Tia from Arky Designs, back with another video. Okay, so this is actually an extension of another video that I created, the Super Bowl party column, where you already have an existing column or an existing structure. But then, so, I bought these as a cheap alternative to balloon columns. It's like some kit from Amazon. It has like the pieces and the rings and you attach them and you know, everything's plastic basically. And so I'm trying to use this for the balloon column and it is not working out well. Like I literally think it only works out well if you're using the tools that they gave you, which work, but probably aren't the best and aren't as efficient. So, I'm pretty sure I just created another way to create a balloon column, at least a short one, with no structure. Let's get started. And they've got the Rams, we got blue and gold for their colors. We got the Chiefs, we got red and gold for their colors. And then we have the 49ers. And we're gonna do red and white for the 49ers just to make it different because a lot of these colors are repeated. But yeah, guys, so as you can see, I got all my balloons from Decamex, and except that one, they were out of red and Decamex, so I got Colatex red, which is perfectly fine. They're still great. Um, and I got all these balloons from Bargain Bloom. Got this from a balloon workshop, and I'm sure you can find one at Amazon or any DIY craft store, all that good stuff. Let's do this. Okay, so for starters, it only works if all the balloons are at least the same size, because if it's not, Gonna be like a marquee it's gonna be very wobbly it's not gonna be fun to deal with and it's just gonna blow away and topple over so this is what i've done so far this is the technique that we're doing i'm going to take my balloons off of the original pole which is actually kind of cool anyways i twisted them on here but it's not really working out too well so i'm going to Take them all off and show you the new way. Okay, so we've got our quads of four that I'm assuming you've created. So create your quads of four. Um, and so now, um, because we're trying to create this spiral pattern, we kind of just want to follow this pattern. So I'm just going to twist the balloons. They would kind of go this way and be something like this. And so, see that? The way we're going to attach them is, y'all know me, I love my blue necks. And so we literally are going to take each quad, take each blue neck of each quad, situate it where you want it to go, following your pattern. In my case, it's a spiral. We're going to stretch the blue necks and then we're just going to tie show you what it looks like. I am tying my blue necks really tight. Really tight. Then boom. You have your blue collar. And so you see it's kind of wobbly at first, but we're going to find a way to weight it down, but I'm just gonna continue um, tying the blue necks and getting the height that I want. Okay, so now that I have the typical balloon column done, you see how flimsy it is? We're just going to give her some weight and we're just gonna go create some water weights and I'll show you where to put them. Okay guys, so I'm making my water weight. I put my balloon on my water nozzle and now I'm just going to turn it on, let it get a little juicy and then turn the water off, snatch it off and then I'll just tie a single knot. We're gonna do that twice, maybe three times depending on you know what we think we need, so. Okay guys, we're back and we just created our water weights. They should hold some type of weight. 
And so now we're gonna take our water waist and we're gonna attach it to the base and possibly to the top of the column. Not sure yet, but we're definitely gonna do the base. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna lift our collar. Again, with the stretchy neck of the bottom. Like so. Show you guys this neck that I'm pulling. This is what I'm gonna to tie to my water weight. just because we added our water weight. So I might add one to the top to make it more top heavy, or top sturdy, but um, should be sturdier shouldn't go anywhere um now i'm kind of deciding if we want to keep the water weight on the top or not just because it gives it makes it kind of it gives it more movement than we would like as opposed to just keeping it like this want to keep it at the bottom then or maybe at two to the bottom so it feels even more sturdy or maybe we'll hide the second one kind of in the color somewhere like that I wonder if that helps we're gonna say it did so now we'll just continue building our column like as normal I don't know how tall this would go um, if it was a regular column I want to say it'll probably do pretty well, but definitely as like a three footer or two footer works perfect if you do not have one of these. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.